Back in March, I remember being stuck in my bedroom one slow afternoon after schools had suddenly shut down after COVID. I was on a Zoom call for my class talking to a quiet girl I'd never met before. And we were supposed to start researching a global environmental problem. Now, we had no idea what we would actually start with, but as we looked deeper into this challenge, we decided to look into the problem that we were most curious about, which was plastic pollution. And as we dug deeper into the details, we realized just how much there wasn't much information that went beyond the surface level details. And that's why we decided to start the Plastic Shift, an initiative to go beyond the surface level and showcase the root causes of this problem. Since then, we've been incredibly lucky to directly work with dozens of entrepreneurs, activists, and researchers to understand how to better solve this problem and then share our work with a podcast and a website. Today, I want to share the lessons we've learned and how we need to stop focusing on the surface level solutions and then create economically viable and scalable in incentives to solve this problem. It all started when we first began to reach out to experts in the field, and we were incredibly nervous, being not just new to the space, but being just high school students on top of that. Soon, though, we were shocked to discover just how many organizations had never heard of our ideas in addressing this problem at its roots. And often, they would run initiatives like cleaning beaches or cleaning the oceans. But to us, it was obvious. Cleaning existing waste from beaches doesn't really stop more waste from getting there in the first place. It's like you have an overflowing sink in your house, and the first thing you do is start mopping up the floor instead of signing off the tap. Driven by this spirit, we decided that we needed to create a manifesto of eight key solutions that needed to be prioritized to solve this problem at its roots. And we knew there was no more time to waste in chasing partial solutions to this problem. So we immediately began to share a manifesto with as many organizations as possible. We worked with them to trace plastics back from the surface to the source, back to businesses. Because at the end of the day, businesses have the largest influence on this problem. In fact, in 2018, just two companies, Nestle and Coke, produced more plastic waste than all of Canada combined. Given this scale, we need 100% of businesses to change if we're going to solve this problem. And so we need to incentivize them to do so with what 100% of businesses want, profits. But luckily, profitable can be sustainable. We realized this from meeting an incredibly innovative company along a journey called Plastic Bank. And they recycle ethically sourced plastics from developing countries, calling them social plastics, which they then sell to large corporations for better prices and better PR. Not only does this create economic incentives to allow them to scale, it also allows them to better pay their workers in developing countries, allowing them to access basic necessities like education for the first time. Personally, hearing about this story inspired me so much to realize just how clearly sustainable can be profitable. And that's why at The Plastic Shift, that's exactly what we'll be working on next, showcasing this key point. Still, I never would have realized this back when we started because at first it felt like a small school project could never make a difference in such a huge problem. But what I've learned from the past seven months is that it's not just about one small change. Like in our everyday lives, it's not just about one change to buy a new product or volunteer at a new organization. It's about that change sparking another and another, leading to an entire journey of better solving these problems. So after this crazy experience full of unimaginable growth, I'd like to leave off with this. If you keep changing your small moments, you'll certainly get further than you think. Thank you.